What is up, DCS crew? We have a video today. Uh, we got mail, man. <laughs> so um, I haven't really talked about these particular uh, knives from Concept, but this one actually came in recently. Um, I got it, you know, towards the end of November, and I really haven't had much time to be able to go ahead and uh, play with it, kind of take it out, you know, work with it. Um, but today is as good as any, so let's go ahead and see what the unboxing is of the one that recently arrived, plus two that um, have gotten here, and I apologize, they went into the pocket or they've been used, uh, or they've gone to certain people to check out and review uh, and haven't been on the channel yet. So uh, I figured I'd go ahead and stick them in here so that we had three different knives um, being officially unveiled from Concept Knives uh, here on uh, Daily Carry Solutions. So stay tuned uh, until after the intro, DCS crew, and you will get to check out what is in each of these. Um, each of them is different, and I promise you, um, yeah, they're, 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 they're pretty badass. I don't know what this one is, but I'm pretty sure... It's going to be awesome. And these two I, I like a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and check these out right after the intro. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, thank you for staying uh, past the intro. Now, this is what we have. We've got three knives from Concept Knives. And um, if you want to know a little bit more about the company, um, I have actually done a video with Eric from the Outer Limitless YouTube channel uh, that is up on the channel. Uh, you, you might want to go ahead and check that out. That talks quite a bit about concept, uh, their beginnings, you know, our, our initial run-ins with them, and uh, a few things, you know, that, that really caught our eye when it came to the fit and finish of these knives um, when compared to other companies that are just recently getting out onto the market. Um, we, we know that when anybody's new, there's going to be some stumbling, you know, and, uh, when you especially are going to be charging, you know, a certain price for knives, uh, like concept did coming out of the gate with, you know, premium materials and premium pricing, basically, um, you tend to kind of look at it and take it eh, very hesitantly because of the fact that, you know, I don't know about you, but I work hard for my money and I'm too, I work too damn hard to be broke. <laughs> And, the, the, you know, the few times when I do have money to be able to go ahead and shell out the money for some of these knives, you know, that are upwards of 200, uh, you know, plus dollars. When you get something, you better hope. Uh, well, you, you they better hope that for the sake of their company, that it fits the bill. And in this case, the two plus bills. <laughs> so um, what um, I've gone ahead and done is, you know, through my relationship with with Concept, um, you know, I've been able to go ahead and review some of their knives. I've been I've been supremely blessed. I ran into them over at Shot Show, and um, I was hoping to see them at Blade, but unfortunately, Blade did not occur, and uh, neither did Blade West. So it sucks. It is what it is. But hopefully, 2021 is going to be something that is uh, going to be beneficial, not only for the channel, but for a lot of these companies that are really trying to get their products out to the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these here to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Now, um, this one actually came uh, recently. This is a Kim Ning design. And let me go ahead and take it out here so you can see what it looks like. Right here. And it is called the Spirit. Okay, now, um, the cool thing about this particular knife, and I, I gotta tell you um, one thing that really struck me as, as odd initially is that I don't have any knives that have like a teal kind of anodize, uh, you know, anodization to them. And it kind of reminds me of, uh, it kind of reminds me of the old Florida Marlins jerseys, honestly. <laughs> you know, that kind of like teal. And uh, at first I was like, man, that's kind of, it's kind of funky. You know, it's kind of like that aqua, you know, that, that kind of greenish teal, you know, color, but I was kind of digging it. And then like, I saw the blade and I'm like, okay, well, it's not like a flat black. It's kind of got that. If you see it, it's kind of got that rough finish, almost like a stone wash, that kind of dirty finish. And I'm like, okay, I'm kind of feeling that. I'm feeling the fact that it's got this nice grind here. You know, I'm not feeling these like little faux, um, I don't know, these scallops here on the side. It's not really jimping because jimping would be up here and it would allow you to be able to go ahead and grip the blade. Uh, get some traction on the blade, but this is kind of like scallops here instead of like having a swedge. So it's like one, two, three, four. Um, not really my cup of tea, but the truth is it's pretty nice. It's got a nice little uh, sharpening tool right here that is away from 
uh, this little area right here that actually gets a little bit thicker. The, uh, the frame lock itself seems to be engaging pretty well. Let me go ahead and try this again. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Go ahead, and, go ahead and center this. See how it looks. Yeah, nice. Okay. That looks pretty good. This is the uh, the show side. That's the clip side. That's the rear. And the front. There's the flipper tab. And uh, the blade on this one is just under 3.6 inches. It says 3.58 on the box. And uh, the variant for this one, it's K1002 with the A2 variant, S35VN steel, which by the way, is imported from here in the US. And there is the, the, uh, the designation for the knife. It is named the Spirit. It's pretty dope. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit, I mean, honestly, I'd like it a little bit more if it didn't have these scallops on the top but it feels really good in the hand, you know? The action is good too, it's on bearings. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling that, okay. If I could change one thing, and even at that, I, I really, I really don't, I really wouldn't. Um, if you notice, the hardware is kind of like a darker gray. The clip is more like a black. The blade is more like a black. And then this little backspacer here to the back is like kind of like a, a gunmetal kind of titanium gunmetal, you know, along with the uh, with the hardware, which, by the way, it is tipped for uh, left or right hand carry. So lefties, this might be a nice one for you, even though it is a, uh, a right handed, you know, frame lock style knife. Um, one thing I would have done is if you're going to add this hardware this way, switch this hardware so that it's dark as well. I mean, I, you know, it, it would have been really nice. And I would like to say, no, on this particular one, it looks like these are all T6 here. And then this is T8. Let me look here. Okay, so this is, this is a T6. All right. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, that's a T6. All right, so the screws on the body are T6. This is a T8. And let's see here. Yep, it's a T8 for the pivot. All right, so there we go. That is the Concept Spirit. It's that teal anodized uh, titanium with the black washed, I guess you could say, uh, blade. Very nice. It's a nice mid to full size folder. It uh, has a pretty nice pocket clip. I mean, I like the fact that it has a little bit of fade to it. It's, I'm, 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 I'm digging that one, okay, all right. Go ahead and place that one up here. Now we'll go to this one, and, ah, okay. So I've had this one for a little while, and this one in particular, I'm gonna show you, this is called the Sprite. Now, up until recently, this was probably one of my favorites. As you can see, it's it's a hell of a looker, man. I, 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 I gotta admit, now, as far as blade size, I'd say it's very similar to the the sprite, yeah, it's actually pretty similar in size too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's around just under a 3.6 inch blade. It's got that nice satin finish. You see the uh, the concept insignia right there with the designation of the model. That's the K1003, and then the A1 is the designation for this particular variant with these scales. Also S35VN imported from the U.S. and Kim Ning as the designer, sprite as the name. Another frame lock and it is not tapped for left hand carry, but has these blasted titanium uh, scales and pocket clip. Backspacer as well that has been uh, blasted. So it's a little bit darker. It's kind of like gunmetal, like like the, the one on the, uh, the Sprite, I think it's called, right? Yeah, Spirit. Let me see here. Which one is this one? Yeah, it's the Spirit, sorry. <laughs> All right, so um, like the Spirit, it does have that kind of like that, that gunmetal backspacer. Uh, it is a frame lock. Let's see how the lockup is on this one. All right, that looks pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the show side. Very nice. The clip side. 
We've got the front here. And you got the back. Oh, that action is so satisfying. Very, very smooth. And then you have the uh, the inlays on this, which really set it apart from the different variants. Uh, this being the A1 variant, that means what it is, is it's uh, it's got the blasted titanium scales with the marbled carbon, carbon fiber inserts. Very, very nice. Um, Actually, you know what do I have? I think I do have my, uh, got my light here. Come on. Ah, here we go. All right. Let's see inside here. Okay, so there's no... Uh, any, there, there's no uh, relief cuts for, or, I'm sorry, skeletonizing or, or any um, scallops inside to be able to go ahead and reduce the weight on this one. But in the truth, in, uh, the, the truth of the matter is it's not a very heavy knife. Uh, I, I dig it. I'm, I'm actually feeling it. It's, a, it's pretty nice. And up until now, that's been probably my favorite knife of the concept knives that I've been able to check out. And then this guy right here. This is the one that actually came uh, from... Um, U.S. Postal Service recently. So this is what I've been wanting to see. And this one, let's see what it looks like. Right. Oh, I know which one this one is. <laughs> Funny thing about this one. All right. So this, this is the Pelican. Manny, look at it. Pelican fly. Come on, Pelican. Oh, so badass. Okay. So it's a nice little, little, uh, Buffet of knives over here. You can see the the pelican is a little bit smaller than the uh, the sprite and the spirit, and it is the only one out of the three that is not a flipper. But man, let me tell you, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Oh, I like this one. I'm, I think out of the three, I, I I'd say just with the action and just how it feels in the hand that this is one of the best. Um, so I feel kind of bad because, you know, usually I'm very good at enunciation and I usually don't have problems. Like, it, you know, when whenever I take medication, everybody's always asking me, oh, what is it you're taking? And I say like the real technical name of the medicine that I'm taking <laughs> because I know how to, how to you know, uh, to say it. And I apologize, but for the life of me, I cannot, I, yeah, no, I'm just gonna call him Bill. <laughs> so the, the designer's name is right here, but I'm going to call him Bill. So this is uh, model K1018, and this is variant A4, okay? So um, this is uh, a black-coated S35VN blade. Let me see if I can get a little closer to that. Come on. There we go. All right. So you got an S35VN blade. You have the model designation there. And now instead of the adding a concept... Under that, you just have the X, which is actually pretty good. I like that. It's nice and subdued. It's something different. So uh, I actually prefer that. And then on the other side, you'll have um, the person's name. Let's see if I can go ahead and put a close up to that. There we go. And a um, uh, cool thing about it, I've, I've done a little research on this particular guy. And uh, we'll call him Bill. So Bill's designs, they all have a very similar shape. I think Kaiser has one as well. And I think it's under the same name. But um, when I did some digging, as it turns out, all of his knives are named Pelican. <laughs> uh, and it kind of reminds me of that movie, uh, Scarface, when they talk about the Pelican. And uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this particular one, the, uh, the scales are not contoured, you know, but it's got this, this little um, this scallop that's been kind of uh, bored into the titanium here. It's got some nice jimping here in the back. And it's got this, I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a rise up here and then it kind of dips again. So there are two ways to be able to hold this. Basically, the first way would be to um, hold it this in this manner right here so I can get all four fingers on the scale and then my thumb right behind it and just kind of use it for, for cutting, for pressure, you know, that sort of thing. Or I can kind of move my thumb up here Kind of position my index finger a little bit higher and get my thumb here and just really work on it this is actually a really comfortable knife um let me go ahead and, there we go uh this is actually one of the most comfortable knives that i've actually gotten from concept the only thing is is that they the the, the scales themselves are not contoured and 
the one thing I guess if I could be you know nitpicky about it is that this is kind of a funky clip but the truth is once it's in the pocket it actually feels pretty good um, if it were me in all honesty I would just take this part out which is for the lanyard and I would have tapped it for either left or right-handed carry but the clip is designed in such a way to where the, uh, the the holes are drilled here and the clip starts here but so in order to not um, get on the uh, the frame lock and cause issues when opening you know the knife because the action on this is fantastic what it has done is they they created it so that the clip actually curves around and it rests right on the um, the scale itself and not on the frame lock so you get an extremely smooth action out of this particular knife and uh, if they were to make a lefty version they would have to go ahead and redesign the clip it could be done and it shouldn't be an issue i mean if they sell enough of these which i have a feeling they will because this is a really nice design and i feel like you know concept actually translated this really well um this is one of those that um he does have quite a few of his uh of his customs uh it's a european designer let me go ahead and clean this real quick I hate it when there's smudges on the knife when I'm presenting it. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, I think that this was very well represented, even though he, he does make custom knives. He's actually been teasing this for a little while, but I was like, damn, okay, that's nice. I wonder how that would be. And boom, it just shows up in my inbox. I'm like, okay, all right. I see you there. <laughs> I see you there, concept. I see what you're trying to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these knives in this kind of order right here. And I'm gonna add a few knives so you can see what the size is compared to them, okay? So first and foremost, I'm gonna go with the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Go and place that one there. I have the Sog Terminus XR. Go ahead and place that one right there. That way you can see more or less how uh, some of these knives compare to it, okay? Um, this is the CJRB Centros, right there, okay, and last but not least, do I have anything else here, what do I have in my pocket, oh yeah, well I have this in my pocket today, um, a little bit less common, but this is the Benchmade North Fork, and yeah, let's go ahead and bring in a, an old school uh, Kaiser design that was done by Kim Ning. This is the Kesmec VG10. Throw that up right here. So as you can see, you know, as far as size, it, it, the, the, the Pelican is obviously the smallest. And then, you know, you do have the Sprite and the Spirit uh, being uh, those that are um, kind of similar in length, but this one is meant to be much more slender. This one is meant to, to be a little bit more robust in the hand. Still, Three very, very well done knives. Um, Concept has, has uh, also come out with, you know, uh, micarta variants, I'm sorry, budget variants of some of their, their knives, including the, the Cryo. And I gotta tell you, um, I, I, <laughs> I like the way that they've been working on some of these knives, but I really like the, uh, the micarta variant of the, uh, the Cryo. It's actually, you know, pretty badass. And if they could do good with, you know, their, their upper class knives, I mean, it was a no-brainer that they really had to hit it out of the park with some of their uh, more budget knives. So um, that's all for today. These are the knives that um, I was able to go ahead and pick up from Concept recently. Um, may get a couple of uh, new ones in the future, who knows? But in the meantime, if you have any questions about this, you know, if you wanna go ahead and talk about the knives, if you are interested in maybe getting one of these and um, you, know, you just wanna say, hey, have you checked this one out? What do you think, whatnot? Um, I've done a couple of videos already on some of the knives from Concept. Um, I actually gave away a prototype on the Give a Knife, Take a Knife uh, video. So if you see that in my, my playlist, go ahead and check that one out. Um, I've done uh, the Kaiser, I believe it's, uh, excuse me, the Concept uh, the Assassin. I, 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 I keep hearing that name, Assassin. And <laughs> I think that one uh, was taken care of uh, recently. But in any case, I've done that. I've done the, uh, the Mini Cryo. Um, and I also saw Concepts, uh, you know, booth live and I viewed a lot of their stuff, uh, including, you know, knives like the Shard um, and even some of these that came out a little bit later in the year over at SHOT Show 2020. So um, when I was in Vegas, you know, I, I did the whole shebang with um, the, the gentleman that, that took care of me there at uh, Concept. 
and uh, you can find that in my uh, video playlist. In fact, if you want to go ahead and skip to the end of this video, um, that will be towards the end. Uh, I am going to provide two recommendation videos. Both of them are going to be concepts, so go ahead and check it out. It's going to be one of those two. Now, that being said, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up with this. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I... Uh, Wow. Okay. I got, I got to say, I, I really appreciate the fact that concept has really considered us, you know, and continued working with us after uh, shot show. I know Eric has gotten a couple of knives to check out and there are people in the past round with, and within the community that have been able to go ahead and get some of these knives and really, um, you know, see how they work. Uh, if you have a chance, go ahead and check out their, uh, Facebook. They, um, are always looking for people who are interested in checking out their knives and who knows, maybe you can become a tester for them and you can test out some of their stuff. You can carry it let them know what you think. <clears throat> and guys, remember, you know, it, it, it doesn't have to be the Pelican. It doesn't have to be, you know, the, the Sprite. It doesn't have to be the Spirit. But just remember, if you EDC, take a DCS. I really appreciate you guys checking this out. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below or reach out to me at Daily Carry Solutions on my Instagram channel. Or feel free to go ahead and send me a message at dailycarrysolutions.com. There is a contact page where you can go ahead and input a message. It sends it to me via email and I will go ahead and respond in turn. But that being said, I have a few things to do, so I got to leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Peace.